Tasty, huh? <laughs> I guess so. Do chimps answer to their names like kids? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Of course, I'm here with the cutest boy in the whole wide world, Mr. Angara. And we're gonna answer questions today. Oh, watch out, you don't know how to drive very well. We're gonna answer questions today from my Instagram. If you guys are not following my Instagram or my TikTok, get on there. I'm not posting all of the same things on the TikTok and the Instagram, so check it out. I was driving along here the other day and I found some wild passion flowers. I wanna show you. I have no idea how I saw it. I think it's just because I'm obsessed with flowers and looking at things, but right there, I saw just a tiny little flash of pink. So passion flower is passion fruit and they grow wild here in South Carolina. That is the reason that I started planting passion flower at my house. But look, can you see all the way back in there? It's, it's literally everywhere. It has been more than a decade since I found it growing wild out here and I'm so excited. It's from here all the way down back here. I haven't even I haven't even gone deep to see where it's at, but I'm so excited to see it growing out here. It is such a cool flower. It looks like it came from outer space. It looks like a little shop of horrors. <laughs> Feed me Seymour. Oh well. Anyway, let's go answer some questions. Yeah, get up there. All of the chimps like coming up here or just any place super high on the property. From here you can see where the tiger actually runs on the day safari. That's the big splash pond where the tigers actually run through and, and cause a huge splash. And you guys are actually up here having tea and snacks and just watching the tigers run from a very safe distance. So first question is, how old is Angada now? Angada just turned three years old. And if you didn't watch it yet, go back and look at his birthday party. Ah, oh, he's going for Jack. <laughs> it is a workout <laughs> to take the chimp for a walk. You're wild. Yeah. Oh, look at him. He thought it through too. He was like, I can jump down those steps. Look at me go. He is very calculated. He is thinking things through. He does not actually just just fall and hurt himself. He knows where his limits are. And he does like to test the limits and see if he can, you know, go a little bit above and beyond. How long have you been working with animals? Well, I've actually been working at this preserve for 21 years. But before that, <laughs> running, running. he's trying to get Jack's feet. I'm running. Before that, I did volunteer at the Hogel Zoo in Utah for a very short period of time. And I volunteered at a rehab center. When I was young, we actually had chickens and ducks and dogs. So I don't know, a lot most of my life, I guess. Actually, we could add um, a little bit of that story right now if you want to see that. I'm Moksha Baby, and with me, I have the most beautiful boy in the whole wide world. His name is Angara. He just turned a year old. He weighs 17 pounds, full grown. He's gonna weigh 200. This is gonna be a big boy. Wanna brush your teeth? Yeah, you ready? So in March of 2021, I will have lived here for 20 years. And in that time, there has actually been a monkey in my bed every single night. <laughs> so they call me monkey mama. I of course do other things. But my main focus for the last 20 years has been mostly apes or monkeys. So this is a whole other perspective from up here as well. A lot of the guests are gonna be standing either here or on the other deck where we just were. You see the splash pond, but over here you can see that giant natural body of water we have. Oh yeah, where the gators actually are swimming. This right here in front of you is where you're gonna meet any of the young animals like tiger cubs, um, our baby wolves and adult wolves. Who knows? You're just gonna have to come and see. Wanna show them how brave you are? Yeah. So you were built for this, huh? You gonna go around it? You gonna go around on my side? Yeah. Oh yeah, you're so brave. Good boy, come here. Of course, you would not try this with a three-year-old human, right? But he has four hands. Look at, look at those little feet. Those feet can grip as good as his hands. And he immediately had a hold of it, just like that. That is crazy. This little boy, they say, is to seven to 10 times our strength, pound for pound. He's 40 pounds. That's powerful. 
Yeah. Oh. Next question. <laughs> How long does Angara sleep for at night? Angara falls asleep before I do. <laughs> I would say he sleeps at least 10 hours a night. With one rested boy. Yeah. Getting all this energy out. <laughs> He's just showing off for Jack. He normally doesn't show off this much. Oh, big boy, come on. What kind of capuchin is Sakse? Sakse is a tufted capuchin and it's a female. If you watch Pirates of the Caribbean or Hangover, that, that's actually an adult female tufted in those two shows. How big will Sakse get? So tufted capuchins are usually somewhere between four and 10 pounds full grown and about 22 inches tall. Not very big at all. This guy is going to be at least 200 pounds and five feet tall. How much do you weigh, Jack? Just well, kidding, you don't have to answer oh, that. Well, I guess, yeah. <laughs> 190, 195. Oh, jeez, okay, but you're really tall. Yeah, but, okay. you know, Angada will have me beat one day. Yeah, well. Yeah. <laughs> How often do you change Angada's diaper? Is it like any other kid? I did actually babysit kids for a while, and I would say it's probably the same. Yeah, he, uh, he eats a lot and he goes a lot. And he drinks a lot. <laughs> Just uh, part of nature, right? <laughs> yep. Where are we right now? Right now we are in the night safari. So, if you come and do the night safari... Oh, look at that! There's a liger! Do you see that liger? Do you know there's a liger down there? If you come and do the night safari, you can see up to 24 different tigers. That's crazy. So a lot of people don't realize this, but tigers are incredibly social. And um, I have heard that tigers probably lived like lions at one point. He's looking through the window at him. <laughs> Someone asked, I want to make some moccasins for you. What shoe size are you? What? You're going to make me moccasins? I am eight and a half. All right, that'd be cool. And what about Angara? <laughs> um, so I don't think that we can uh, do moccasins for him because see how big and wide that foot is? Yeah, I don't, I don't think that'll work for him. <laughs> That'd be a good challenge for them to make them. <laughs> What's the difference between a capuchin and a chimpanzee? Well, a capuchin is a monkey. When you're looking at like a definition of a monkey, that means it has a tail. He doesn't have a tail. So he's an ape. A monkey, they say, is somewhere around 10 times as smart as a dog, and an ape is 10 times as smart as a monkey. That's crazy. So Sakse is just like a super lightweight tree-dwelling animal, um, where this is a thick, thick dude. Now they do actually climb trees, but they also spend a lot of time on the ground. Right now, what is Angela's favorite food? Besides this pine cone he's carrying around. <laughs> <laughs> and it's actually, it doesn't always stay in stock, um, but it's back and forth between, I think it's called like jelly bean grape or jelly belly grape and the cotton candy grape. Both of those he absolutely adores and he will just eat them all. When is Angada's birthday? June 17th was his birthday, so we recently made a birthday video. If you want to go back and see him celebrate. Mm. You, you like that pine cone? That's funny because pine cones are not soft or lovely in any way, but he thinks that it is worth carrying and putting in his mouth, okay? <laughs> Tasty, huh? <laughs> I guess so. What does Angada's normal diet consist of? So Angada wakes up in the morning and he has a couple of like... Okay, yep. So a pine cone, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna take it with us, okay buddy? You wanna keep going? Okay, yeah, let's go. Good job. So when Angada wakes up in the morning, he has a couple of uh, little protein shakes that are designed for kids. That gives him all the nutrition that he needs. And then throughout the rest of the day, he's going to eat apple, carrot, banana, sweet potato, avocado, uh, rice, beans. You know, he just kind of eats all day long. Instead of having like designated meals like we do, he just wants to eat a little bit all day long. And then right before he goes to bed, then I make that protein pudding that has a ton more of nutrition in it, that has the monkey biscuit that's designed specifically for his needs. It has banana, it has avocado, it has all sorts of... I was wondering if you were gonna hit that tree. I hit a tree. <laughs> Hi, tree. I was like, does he know that tree's there? No, I didn't know this tree was here. Sorry, Jack, I should have had you on that one. Oops. I, 
I thought you knew. He Thanks, eats Roxy. a giant bowl of protein pudding right before he goes to bed. <laughs> and throughout the day, he drinks a lot of water. He loves water. I have had no issues whatsoever of getting the monkeys or the apes to drink water. They they think it's great. Oh, Ooh, nice. <laughs> Backflip. There you go. Yeah. He's not going to do anything that hurts himself. I know it, that didn't look like super graceful. Uh, but that's him just trying to learn, huh? Try doing a backflip. All right, you gotta trust me. Wee! Uh, okay. <laughs> he says I like doing it one-handed. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, let's keep going. The next question says your life partner will be free from death slash birth cycle because he will get moksha. What does that mean? <laughs> I see what you did there. I think if you guys want to know, just Google it. Google Moksha? Google Moksha. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Someone's done their research. <laughs> <laughs> now we're at the night safari. What is this new area up here? Oh yeah, so that's the new net we just built um, for Angada and Tara to go run around and play with on the night safari while all the guests are down here cooking marshmallows and hot dogs. And this is uh, Sagriva's throne. And over there is Bali's throne. And him and Tara are up there playing with me. Yeah. Yeah, good boy. What has been your best animal you've gotten to work with? Oh, that's a hard question. People ask if I have a favorite or which one is the coolest. It's You can't put them all in the same category. Angada is actually like raising a little human. Uh, like I said, I did babysit a lot as a kid. So I do have some experience with little humans. I do not have any little humans of my own. So this is very much like a human and it's easy to really bond to them. The cheetahs have been unbelievably cool to me. And I have to say right now, there is absolutely no way, do I go in there? There is absolutely no way of explaining the feeling of being friends with an adult tiger. With a 600 pound, I don't know, they're magical. I don't know how else to explain it. And the feeling of being next to them and, and trusting them and them trusting you. There's, n there's nothing that beats it. I wish I could explain it to you. I wish I had words for you to understand, but it is absolutely mind blowing every time, even 21 years later. Are Angada and Bubbles the Elephant friends? So Angada, like all of the other primates that live on this property, if they're under Bubbles, meaning she's standing above them, they are afraid of her because she is mammoth. See what I did there? <laughs> um, <laughs> but if Angada can get on her back and ride her, then he thinks he is the king of the world. So all of them, uh, Bali, Sagriva, uh, every single one of them think being on Bubbles' back is actually the coolest thing that's probably ever happened to them. Do chimps answer to their names like kids? Yes, chimps do answer to their name just like kids. And this might blow you away. We have groups of like 18 tigers all living together, right? If you go out there and you say one of the tigers' name, all of the other tigers will look at him and go, they're, they're calling you. So <laughs> they know their names and they know the names of all of their friends. That's crazy. That is crazy. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as we enjoyed making it. If you haven't yet, why not? Subscribe, like, comment, and remember, stay wild.